All right, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn the main screen interface and uh, the built-in workspace inside Premiere Pro. Once you understand the interface of the application, you will be more confident to use the application. If this is your first time opening the application, it might be intimidating and looks not that easy. But trust me, it's not that hard either. I believe anyone can learn Premiere Pro, especially if you are willing to learn. Let's get started. So let's start at the upper left corner of the application. So we will uh, we have here a source monitor panel. So these are the uh, uh, main screen of the uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. As you can see, it's a panel based uh, interface. There's a lot of folders in here. So on the left side, we have source uh, monitor panel. We use these uh, to play back or preview a specific clips either on the timeline or specific folder. So if you click here in the timeline, the source panel here will appear. So you can set in and out points. Uh, this one is in, in point. So this is the uh, blue cursor. If you want to start with your uh, video clip, say for example, you want to cut this uh, this portion of the video we can just set in uh, the in point and we can set the out point here all right and then once you drag this footage uh once you drag this footage to your timeline it will just drag this specific video clip it will not include this uh portion of the clip all right all right and since we open this is automatically updated on the timeline but anyway we'll go uh, command C to undo what we've did. All right, and also you can add markers on this uh, source monitor. So the markers are this one. All right, add marker. So there's a shortcut for letter M, but if you click on this, you uh, you can mark the specific part of the of the clip. So you just had to mark it. Okay. So let's say uh, you want this um, this kind of this part of the clip, and you want to mark this to remember that this is the specific uh, part of the clip that you want to include, or you highlight that part of the clip. You you, you have a mark there. All right. So basically, that is the quick overview of your source monitor. So let's move on to the next folder or the next panel, which is the effects control. So this effects control uh, example. Uh, we want to position, we want to change the position of this uh, clip on the timeline. We can manipulate these numbers, all right? So this is the position from left to right. As, I, as you can see, I'm moving the, uh, uh, changing the uh, numbers here. And this is up and down, all right? All right? You can also change this uh, and uh, just set some numbers if you want, all right? But yeah, let's control uh, Z to undo it. All right, and scale. So if you want to uh, make it bigger, make it smaller, uh, yes, this is the panel for that, the effects control. So if you want to add effects on your timeline, this is the uh, panel for that. Opacity, all right. So the opacity, uh, if you change the opacity, we'll change the opacity on the timeline. We have time remapping. We have uh, volume, channel volume, and panel. So basically, that's all in your effects control. So later on, if we add uh, additional effects, um, we can search for additional effects, and then you can add it here. Uh, you will also see that effect here. It will be added. Next, we have audio clip panel. So basically, this panel you can use to adjust settings while listening to audio track and playing your video. You can adjust it here. All right, And we go on to metadata. So basically this metadata, this is the panel that will show you all the information of the clip or the file, like the size, uh, the format, creation date, and more. So if you're working on uh, like a video production and those stakes are really important, the name, the media type, that specific uh, details of the specific clip, you will also, you will see everything in this metadata panel, all right? There you go. Now let's move on to project panel. So this project panel contains all of your footage files, including video, audio, and image. And 
And the good thing about Premiere Pro, if you edit the clip inside the application, it will not affect the original content of your footage in your computer that was saved in your computer because it is just uh, referencing or linking all of your footage in your computer. Because if you think uh, we have here the uh, assets, all right, we'll go here to video. These are my videos that was imported in the application. So if I change this, say for example, I cut this, and then um, you know I, I make any changes in this one. The original file in my computer will not be affected. If I go to my uh, finder, and if I go to my assets, lesson file, assets, the asset here, the video, is still the same. It's not affected because a Premiere Pro is just referencing the files on your computer. All right, it's like a copy and it's not a non-destructive um, uh, way of uh, editing your footage. All right. And yes, this is really, you will store all of your files in these project lessons. You can import your folders, your bins, anything you organize your folders, files in project uh, panel. Next, we move on to, in this panel, you can search all the effects available inside Premiere Pro. Your presets, your Lumetri color presets, your audio effects. As you can see, there's a bunch of uh, effects here that you can add to your timeline to add that effect on your video. Next, we have uh, audio transition. We have cross phase. We got constant gain, constant power, and exponential fade. These are the audio transitions to make you know smoother, uh, smoother transitions between your audios. All right, so you can just drag and drop it to the clip so that you can add it to the timeline. Okay. Now, next is video effects. All of the video effects is listed here. We have the adjust, blur. Uh, sharpen, uh, channel, color correction, uh, image control, keying, noise grain, obsolete, style, time. Basically, all of the uh, video effects that you want to add to your timeline, you can search it here on this folder. Next folder would be video transition. So if you want to add transitions between your clip, this is the folder that uh, you are looking for. We have 3D motion, dissolve, immerse, iris, page, peel, slide, wipe, and zoom. This is all your video transitions available inside Premiere Pro. Now we have most used. This most used is the uh, folder I created because I'm using uh, all of these. I Most of the time I use these uh, effects. So instead of uh, searching every time for the effects, I just copy or drag and drop it inside of this folder. So just all of my most used effects is right here. You can uh, quick access and then you can just drag and drop it to the timeline. Right. Now we have the media browser. So media browsers. Uh, all right. So let's move on to media browser. You know, media browser is it allows you to quickly access all your assets or footage files in your hard drive. Uh, in your or in your hard drive computer so you have quickly so you have a glance of your assets inside of your computer even though you are inside of the uh, Premiere Pro while editing your timeline so as you can see since I'm using Mac there's a folder Macintosh HD you will see all of the folders that you can search or you can find all of your all the folders that you can search all of your assets here uh, in your local drives all right and you can just simply copy and drag it to your project panel to copy or to make a copy or import those footage inside Premiere Pro all right we have next we have libraries all right you can search your current library here uh, view type so this is the you know to use the creative cloud libraries you need to be logged into creative cloud account since i'm not logged in there's no information here all right now next we move on to i think that's it all right so i think that's it with the uh, panels or all the panels inside all right so let's move on to this this panel this panel is the tool panel all right, tool panel has all your 
Um, so tool panels has all your tools to edit your timeline. All right. So normally if you click on this, your cursor will change depending on the tools that you selected. Say for example, I click on this razor tool to cut your timeline. It will give me this icon, this icon to cut in my timeline. All right, because I selected that. Now, uh, if I choose this uh, slip tool, it will change my icon to that slip tool too. Right. Also, uh, if you click on the pen tool, uh, pen tool, it will also change the cursor. And the text, if you want to add text, it will add this uh, text and yes. So this is basically uh, all your tools available inside Adobe Premiere Pro to uh, so that we can use to edit your timeline. Now let's move on to the large portion of the Premiere Pro, which is the timeline panel. So timeline panel is where you spend most of your time to edit your clips. So you can add footage here. You can cut. You can add footage here. You can drag and drop footage here. You can cut. You can move your footage here. Uh, if you add new or another sequence, you can see it here. So you say, for example, I add a new sequence here, it will stack like a, like a web browser, a new tab. All right. So to add a sequence, I just want to show you, okay, uh, file, new, sequence, all right? Put a name on the sequence. So in this example, we just put a sequence number three and then we click OK. Uh, yeah, there. So that's what I'm referring to. It will add the uh, new sequence like a tab. Let's move on to the right side, which is your program monitor so this is simply like a, a monitor where you can preview your timeline clips it is your live monitor so every time you play in the timeline it will play it here uh, as, as your live monitor all right so it's different than the source monitor because source monitors only will show you just a specific um clip specific clip like that if you click on the timeline it will show you a specific clip but on the timeline as you can see the blue arrow here representing your timeline All right so as i move my blue cursor here it also moved the timeline so basically that is your main screen of adobe premiere pro thank you for watching and see you in the next video